Let's solve the following problem using the calculator. Suppose that you borrow $14,000 for six years a 7.5% interest rate. Use the formula PMT equals P times R over N, everything over 1 minus 1 plus R over N, quantity raised to negative NP. So, to find the monthly payments and the interest uh, for the loan. So, if we take a look at the formula again, right, and we explain each letter, P stands for principal, which is the amount financed or borrowed or the amount you have now. R stands for rate, and it has to be written as a decimal. N is the number of payments per year. So, in our case, because it says monthly payments, we're going to use 12. If it says quarterly, you use 4, semi annually, you use uh, 2. And T is the number of years. So, be very careful, it's in time is in years. So, in our situation, P is 14,000. Um, T is 6 years. The interest rate is 7.5%, which is 0 0.075. It's important to change it into a decimal. And we want to find the payment using the formula. And also, we know N it's 12 because it says monthly payments. So PMT, the payment, is 14,000 times R, 0 0.075, over 12. Everything over 1 minus quantity 1 plus 0 0.075 over 12 to negative n is 12 times t. Um, the number of years is 6, so uh, times 6. So now we are going to calculate this using the calculator to my left. So I'm going to start with the numerator. So the numerator. It's what we have above the um, line. So 14,000, we put that in the calculator, times parentheses 0 0.075 divided by 12. Enter, and the numerator is 87.5. Now we are going to do the denominator. But first, I'm going to start with this piece. 0 0.075 over 12, which if you notice is the same quantity as this one. So 0 0.075 divided by 12 equals 0 0.00625. That's plus 1. It's everything raised to negative 72. And then 1 minus that quantity. So I'm trying to go from inside out. So the numerator, 87.5, we keep it like that. 1 minus, we add these two together, and that gives us 1.00625 raised to negative 72. So 87.5, 1 minus, and let's calculate what is 1.00625 raised to negative 72. So when we do that, we get 0 0.6385 to 1, 7, 2, 3, 1. I write all the decimals over. 1 minus, you either copy the number that it's on top here, or we press second minus, and that means it writes the answer, um, the previous answer. So press enter, and we get 0 point. 36147827769 which means 87.5 divided by the previous answer equals 242.06 so that is the payment so if we want to find the monthly payment so for 6 years we have to pay 242.06 06. So let's check this with the TI app. So I'm going to press app, finance, TVM solver. So now N is 12 months, or um, maybe I should say better, 
uh, six years times 12 uh, months per year, that gives us 72 um, payments. The interest rate is 7.5%. So this time we don't change it into a decimal. We put 7.5. Present value, uh, we are not using that. We need to find the payment. No, sorry, we do use the present value. The present value is 14,000. This is how much money we um, borrow. We need to find the payment, but make sure the P slash Y, so the payments per year is 12, because it's we're doing 12, and C slash Y, we put 12 as well. So we go to the payments, and we press alpha, enter, and that gives us exactly the same value that we got using uh, the formula. Now, the other question was the total interest for the loan. So we borrow 14,000, right? So this is how much money um, we borrow. But we borrow them with some interest. So um, when we pay 242.06 per month for six years, it means we pay this amount 72 times right? Six years times once a month. So six times 12, it's 72. So this equals, so 242.06 times 72 equals 17,428.25. When, whenever we are doing um, we are working with money, we use two decimals, right? Because those are the cents, 32 cents. So this is the amount of money you end up paying out of pocket in uh, six years, but you borrowed 14,000. So the interest is the amount of money that you paid, 17,428.32, minus the 14,000 that you borrowed. So, 3,428.32 is the amount of money that you had to pay in interest.